then when I when I got right out, I got up right after I got out of school, I, I got a, a record deal with Warner Brothers in Los Angeles and made a couple of records that largely went unnoticed and um, had a really hard time, just speaking honestly, had a really hard time sort of uh, figuring out what to do uh, after that. And I, I idolized myself as a musician in such a way that it was just impossible for me to see what was around me to be happy. I made people around me kind of miserable. And when I uh, finally, I initially gave up music and that, and then, and like the story, I came back to Texas and that, that didn't work. I was still carrying around this weird sort of, I don't know what, resentment or something. Because the guy that I was wasn't the guy I was supposed to be or something, you know? And uh, this is starting to sound like, a, like I'm an evangelist now, but. <laughs> you know, the truth is I had to come to the bottom, I had to really sort of bottom out. And I had to really, uh, Give up and surrender, and all those, all those, you know, words. I, uh, without going into too much detail, I just, uh, I came to my end and and really had to uh, give up. And uh, and once I gave up, uh, music sort of crept back into my life and uh, and under different terms. And now we're friends again. <coughs> Um, and I don't have any expectations for my relationship with music now, and I really fully enjoy writing and, and playing as much as I can and being in front of people. And my, my whole love is really the creative side. I love making something out of nothing and music. And uh, so I don't have expectations for it. I don't have a career expectation for it. I love to do it. It'd be great if that works. It's fine if it doesn't. And um, I'm just kind of at peace with it now. It's the only real way I could I'd be happy, you know, is to, is to give that up. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Yeah. It's a great moment in the movie when he's at the bar and he sees um, Aubrey singing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was wondering, I guess, to uh, talk a little bit about, like, did you see that happening, I guess? Or, like, even now today, you're at the radio. It's kind of true, like, with great musicians, kind of, it's just not the time for that. Right now, music's. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's a, it's just a great <clears throat> success in music or art of any kind is just such a crapshoot. You can be great and never be recognized, and you can be lousy and be recognized all day long. And so, uh, I have friends. One of my best friends wrote this top country song. I won't say it because he's filming over here. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> no, but, no, but he wrote this silly country song that just went through the roof, you know? And he continues to do it, and he's just writing this music, and people love it, and it's great. But of course, there's a side of me that goes, he doesn't even mean what he's saying. He's just being clever. He's just putting words together that rhyme, you know? <laughs> I think probably, and I've got to leave all, i got to check all that, and know that's my deal, but yeah, obviously there's some resentment there, but you really have to look at the other side of it, too, I mean, good grief, I, who gets to make a movie, or whatever, you know, who gets to have a family, who gets to what, you know, so, uh, maybe that's what you're asking, I don't know, the, the pops, I can't, yeah, the top 40 music, the stuff that's popular now, I don't, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't think I'll be on that radio, but... <laughs> But this is a song that appears in the movie, and it, it has an interesting backstory because it, in the movie, this song is um, it sort of expresses uh, the character's love for his wife, and in real life, it's a completely different thing. And in my life, I, I made the song. Um, the lines get kind of blurry between myself and my actual self and the character, but I made this song. I, I left Los Angeles in my real life. And I uh, really tried to put music out of my life because it, it just was such a heartache for me in so many ways, and I just needed to distance. But, so I literally stopped playing music for a long time. And, um, and then one day I was teaching school. I taught school for a year, and everybody had left, and there was a piano over there in the auditorium, and I just walked over. And, uh, and this song was kind of a love-hate song uh, for music. And it's not about a girl at all, so 
That's kind of the background on this one. <clears throat> Uh... 